What's up guys? Hey, welcome back to In Gear. And today we're gonna to do a comparison between two really awesome bikes. We have the original X-Class 48 volt, and then we just unboxed and got together the X-Class 52 volt, which has some awesome new features. So let's get started. All right, so first off, let's talk about the aesthetics of the bikes. They look pretty much the same. Uh, this one's just in black, this one's in red. So if you're really up close, you can notice some of the minor differences, which we'll get into. But just to say straight off the bat, I love the black bike more than the red. I just like black. It's simpler, it's nice, it's clean. But I'm so happy that Aerial Rider has provided us with uh, a black version of the X-Class with a bunch of upgrades. So let's get into the upgrades. We're gonna start with the wheels right off the bat. The original version came with street tires. The new version came with knobby tires. Has some nice grain, uh, some aggressive bumps. So that just helps if you're on different types of terrain. So we love the new upgrade on the tires. Uh, second, we're gonna talk about the motors. The original version of the X-Class is a 48 volt hub motor in the back and it peaks at 1500 watts. We move over to the new X-Class, it's a thousand watt hub motor and it peaks at 2000 watts. So this one definitely takes the cake and is worth the money upgrade, absolutely. Uh, the second thing we wanna get into is the suspension. Now both of them have dual suspension, but the older version was not adjustable. The new version of the X-Class is absolutely adjustable, both in the rear and in the front, which we love. Makes the ride more comfortable and you can adjust it to your weight and the type of terrain that you're gonna be on. So we love it. Both of the X-Classes came with the stock um, single saddle seats, uh, which is great for single riding, uh, but they both also provide pegs if you are gonna upgrade to a long saddle seat, which I tend to prefer. Just gives me more mobility back and forth, and I tend to ride with a tandem rider, so we'll be upgrading that seat. Um, they have the pegs on both, which are much higher quality. Uh, and then they come with the availability of a bunch of different accessories. As you can see here, we have the back rack, for this one. So let's get into the battery life. The battery life of both bikes is really good. Um, this one originally came with a 16 amp hour battery for the 48 volt. The 52 volt, however, has an 18 amp hour battery, which I think even though it's a 52 volt, it's still gonna beat a little bit on battery range. So I'm gonna appreciate that upgrade as well. Uh, they both come with the exact same headlights. Uh, we haven't tested the brightness yet, but they look the same. They're the exact same bulb. So uh, that's an easy one. All right, now let's get into the price tag. This one right now is still coming in at $1,600. So for an extra $500, you get this one coming in at $2,100. Um, this one comes in black. This one is faster and the battery life is bigger with dual suspension. So for me, this is the win. Regardless of either bike, if you're gonna get one, type in that in-gear code uh, because that helps us continue to make more videos like this. So that's pretty much it for both of these bikes. They look relatively the same, uh, but we're banking on this one because of the upgrade. So let's get out on the road and let's give it a test.